This morning I was watching a talk show on TV and they were interviewing this writer guy with a best-selling book out. They were asking him all these interesting questions and he would reply with interesting answers and so I decided I was going to write a book too except my book is going to be better than his. In fact, I decided to write the best book ever. I don't know what the best book ever is going to be about yet, but it should be one of those life-affirming, culture-changing books that state some deep revelation of misunderstood humanity. It should be an instant classic and make the world a better place, and everybody everywhere will agree that it really is the best book ever. So anyway, I'm going to call my friends to tell them that I won't be able to go out tonight because I'm going to be writing. I'm not going to mention that I'll be writing the best book ever because I want it to be a surprise. That way they can tell journalists in a few years, yeah, I still remember that night when he told me he was going to stay home to write. Who would have thought that he was going to wind up writing the best book ever? Adjusting to public life after I write the best book ever may be challenging, but I'm determined to remain humble no matter how often I'm stopped for autographs and recognized in the street. In fact, when I win the Nobel Prize for Literature, it will be cool when they introduce me as the remarkably down-to-earth author of the best book ever. Well, okay, enough of that. It's time to sit down and start writing the best book ever. Well, I guess I'm not feeling inspired today, so I'll just practice the author's pose I'm going to do for the book jacket as soon as I finish the best book ever. <laughs> 